Hey. Woo. Made it. Is it okay for you? You listen to me well? I can hear you. Wow, it's the first time I'll do a live with my phone, but I see it spectacularmente. The age brother, so then I need to use my glasses otherwise. <laughs> so I need Papa Papa Lindo Taita Inti to really give me that sunshine rather to use the glasses. So nice to meet you. This is just live for everybody that we are meeting each other face to face. We even touch our hearts very fast. That is a higher connection of the everything all the time that we recognize our souls, right? And I happened to learn about Jerome gladly through a sister whose name is Andrea Catalina, who has a beautiful century for really, really beloved souls. Our hermanitos menores, very animals. Please check that. I'll be happy to share it too. So thanks to a post she did. Then there they was wow. in a geek on class and amazingly because please follow this brother he does it every day there's a can donation that you can do and every day at the same time if you're in europe at four o'clock with impeccability with the birds tweeting with himself anchoring and really taking you to the elements journey because this is how we feel and the synchronicities right that we happen to express about it um we all say that if it's, if social media has a spice because you speak up something and there you have the connection but it is even beyond that. And for the ones well, that don't know me, my name is Karen Kosmika. I happen to be an artist and performer a long time ago. Uh, it's been 10 years now since I haven't touched the stage, just the stage of life by itself. It's always life. And uh, yes, like most of us into our awakening on how maybe you can merge maybe the arts and also the awareness of the everything without coming into maybe just um, not victimism, but uh, just complaining, you no? Know, because art is beauty, actually. But when it becomes maybe something that can take you from another point of view, I don't really want to watch the TV again through art. You know what I mean? So I was into this twilight zone of what I will be doing all this time. And yes, if you are mostly there, even you can go to other spaces just from the connection of the whole body is forgotten you know um coming especially from body movement theater and you can tell no I, yes i was mo mo all the time touching the ground for you to go through the motions through the body beautifully done and you bring that to most of us and from the simplicity actually just from the just from true awareness from not trying to do much just simply a really smooth movement can really take you somewhere else and it is really pure medicine you brought me back to my um, childhood because my dad, uh, remember he raised uh, to me, my mom and me to Tai Chi classes. Mm. And my mom got bored. <laughs> my mom rather uh, than Zumba and she loves it. She's very good. She's 70 almost. Oh, she's spectacular. And this is her call, right? And she does it very well. And by then, yeah, and I was little, so I just couldn't continue, I guess. And many times, somebody has shared just a bit <gasps> immediately just a month ago actually a sister in a call happened to share some movements with the tiger or i don't know one immediately just to do a movement <gasps> incredible so blessings for that i'm super complete at this moment i pass my heart to you whatever you feel like expressing we haven't prepared anything guys because this is the beauty from just souls they say and he gladly you know accepted the invitation right away when was this brother today is tuesday it seems that it's been several days <laughs> like i think a couple and he said yes let's do it so here we are so um he also kindly uh, has beautiful um chats of you know high consciousness with other souls so please check that as well so pass my expression to you brother Feel free to express whatever your heart brings you. Wow. Into. <laughs> Muchas gracias. gracias. De nada, mi amor. Estamos rojos de pasión. Borrachos, borrachos. This is what we will explain. We will explain. Wow. Cheers, oh, cheers. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mucho gusto. This is, this is amazing. You know, I feel your energy. Even just before I even, you know, witnessed you here, like even through your voice notes, you know. Yes. Through your voice memo, through your voice messages, yes. you see the powerful like energy frequency through that, through your voice, you know, that it touches. So it just, it was immediate. You know, I felt it immediately. I felt your love, your joy, your, your enthusiasm, 
your gratitude and just your bliss for, for life and living. And, you know, it's amazing because, you know, Karen, I didn't even know that you were into, uh, you said body, body performance. What was it called again? The theater? Yes, that comes from the line of Grotowski in which like, because if you touch Stanislavski, it's like you're supposed to get into the roles and get into the psyche okay. just through the thoughts, through the role itself, right? To the emotions. But emotions, you know, we have memory here in our flesh, in the body. So from just training itself and from repetitive movement, actually like a practice with discipline to just create certain, from just the uh, improvisation, maybe you weave 10 movements and you repeat them all over and over again. And actually they can even take you to alter states of high consciousness without taking anything. And that's why I feel very aligned with this, nothing at all, no? And every time you really get into the acknowledging of how you move, because this is living the present time. That's why actors, artists live in the present time, creators, we're all creators. But it, it brings you to the awareness because you have to know where your other brother is, you know, more than thinking. That is bad acting, they say, when you are thinking what you're going to say and you're not really listening what he's saying. <laughs> you know, it's like in life. So into this awareness of the movement, you really feel your, your breath. How do you, I think I've never trained so much when they will ask you as a student, young student, your first year to walk a thousand times, just to walk, <laughs> walk, <laughs> and you walk, <laughs> walking, walking, so many different ways to walk. And um, we have this when we are little, mm -hmm. right? When we are little crawling, I mean, like very little, we have that. And, and even after the first stage of our lives but then yeah we, we become this 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 box no and in which we can have this awareness but how many times we really don't see our palms no like uh, the beauty that it is there no like it's in the branches of trees i chose the trees and look even here thank you for accepting it because just knowing that he's just a soul that will accept it all <laughs> you know it was so late for me i, I thought he would be maybe or oh, sleeping or something we have different time zones and i just pick it up it was beautiful and and, and he took it in because this is the generosity of a of a soul knowing which a lot of protocol what do you think about this and you spend time and space no so so yes this is it no so we practice with um, um great discipline from from asia as well so i think that was the inspiration but grotowski is uh polish if i recall well hmm. yeah. Okay, beautiful. Thank you for sharing that, Karen, you know, because, you know, I'm listening to you and you, you were saying like we weave in the movements and then you were also talking about time and that in the present or in that time that every every person is in that time. So how does that kind of connect with what you have on your page? I saw the weaver of time, uh, yes. the weaver of time, like how do those two things come together? Well, the weaver of time is actually bringing me back to the Cosmovision Masha, but the one from the Abuelitos, because we have the Synchronario Masha that has been brought by the Western, which is gladly by Argeas, because there's an understanding maybe of what that was, combined a little bit with uh, maybe other sources in a way. And I think in the end it's funny, because we all believe what we want to believe. You know, we, we create a vision of what a vision, not to mention egregores and all that. So, but thanks to that, at least, and because by then it was really well restricted and keeping hidden or more like guarded, you know, all this information, at least the Western world learned about that, you know, about the Nahuales, like that is the other astrology. And then when I started to really learn about this one, the Abuelitos, no, we are, we know we are weaving life. We are all interconnecting. So what, we are the weaver of the time as well, no, in that sense. The Mayas amazingly had like 20 calendars, I guess, for agronomy. We just celebrated the sun one, for example. I was told I was the sun. Oh, thank you, Sister Deborah, if you listen. And I was like, what do you say? Like, you are the sun. <laughs> and I happened to call, well, we have a little group um, that we call ourselves the Warriors of the Sun, but uh, in the good sense, you know, but, uh, oh, Taita Inti. Thank you, corazón, padrecito, hermoso. It's really great when it's shining there. Mm. And in any case, the connection 
knowing of themselves through the time and no space and the awareness of like everything is a spiral, as you know, and it's in our lives, it's a cycle. So it is beautiful how they have this solar calendar that is the 365, let's say. And then they have the other one that is like the 13 months, but it's not the 13 months. They call it the human. I love it, the human, the human one. And it's related to the 10 fingers and also the 10 toes that we have. So instead of just being said, oh, well, today is a Monday, no? Lunes, no? In, at least Monday is related to the moon. Monday, Tuesday, Mars. But ima imagine in Castellano, lunes. ¿Qué me dice lune a mí? Nada, <laughs> no, por decir. So we know and we also honor what the identity it is created around the world, but every day brings you into an knowledge of awareness of what is the charge of the energies coming into that time. So I just started to touch base. Even though, honestly, I say like, as we know it all already in that sense, sometimes I just don't even check anything. I just simply feel, depending on the day of myself, how I am in the state of consciousness or circumstances, I will see if there is some resonance of something I have to pay attention, but without obsession, you know? I think this is the obsession in general. So that is the weaver of the time, and they are called caminantes del tiempo, which is even more beautiful, workers of the time. The ones that become a kich, that are the priests, priestesses. And I love about that Mayan community, it is just the 50-50% in the recognition of female and male energies, women and men. And that is, that is it, because we are the workers of the time. We are these workers of life, right? And it's, isn't it beautiful? So the weaver of time, I just, I, I posted it because we all are these weavers of time. And I'm a weaver as well, because I belong to a sacred economy community in which we weave. We weave our projects, our dreams, ourselves. And we weave also our evolution, no? Because without your thread, without that thread, then the other is loose. So if I'm not there to sustain, it's like I have this shawl, then the other is loose and it has a hole, right? So with that, I cannot make it all, <laughs> like the whole pattern of the beauty itself. So we are mega even important. That, Pass my heart is, to you, brother. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. You know, the, even the way that you described it and the way that you illustrated, Karen, you know, you remind me, one of my mentors, they told me, um, you know, they said that we may not have it all together, but together we have it all, you exactly. know? Exactly, exactly. Uh, whole. So just like you were saying with weaving the threads and that every thread is important, that everything is important, everything is aligned in that way. And it really does sound like you have a lot of reverence for the sun, you know, when you were talking about, did you say Papa Inti or Tata Inti? How did you say it? Yes, it could be Tata or Taita. Taita is father, father. It means father, and Inti son. Yeah, there's um, it, it's 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 very funny and and please, ladies, don't kill me. <laughs> we have the Mama Kia that is the Mother Moon, and if you well, we all know, ladies, like it's been more than a decade that there, we started or women, let's say, started to enhance the circle of women. It was the time of the awakening. To me, we will never sleep. Actually, if you think about it, women, and we we go back to the Amazonas, you know, like in that stage of like they were, it was a female energy even like the nurturing of earth taking all over and men were having other roles and simply because of just simply shifting it's like earth that how is shifting and getting into the reset we needed to allow other energies to come and with so much peace there's nothing to forget there's nothing to complain about we just also needed to let it leave it no also that energy needs to leave it in any case for, to me now is just the harmony between both and to my vision on any visions, what it is the truth of the truth. <laughs> we are all figuring out and putting just one gem of the truth, let's say. And we are all fractals of the whole, understanding one piece. So in that sense, um, they say, for instance, even though they're temples of the moon and so on, actually it was the sun from the very beginning. And they say even that this moon itself was brought from Jupiter, whatever, or if it is taken or not taken by energies that are not welcome. In any case, it is there. It is there and it influences the crops, it influences our emotions, it influences, we have water, right? But what you do around it, and I have also been participating, no, like in rituals, but if we are a lot, like thousands around the world, no? So that was probably a little bit of 
bit of manipulation that I didn't understand. And I was listening to some sisters like, you know, and when I was little, well, I come from Lima, Peru, by the way, I live in Spain. I've, I've been here since 2005. And it's beautiful to see the, the, the no recognition of any land in any case. I, I always felt it like that. But putting that aside, um, there was something with the moon every time I'll see it, and I respect her so much, obviously. Uh, and I, and I, yesterday was a new moon recently on Pisces, for example, and also receiving the blessings as well. But if you think about the prana, know what you are, you know, leading us when you are doing that also in nature and the sun and, and all the dance that they create between the birds, the caterpillar, the leaves, and all and all the rays, is in is immediate. No, like it is true that the moon takes us to, into a stage that sometimes nobody wants to see their own shadow, you know, and the darkness. And I love it. <laughs> I'm Scorpio as well. So I just love it. And Ahpu is my Nawal. So it's like, yes, let's go beyond. Let, let's go to the, not to the others, even beyond. If there's something else, and then let's go into reverse. But look at this. Just right now, speaking to you, I'm charged. And it doesn't matter. You, you may know best that I haven't eaten, probably. I haven't maybe slept well enough, but it's immediate. And as I'm talking to you and I have my eyes closed, I start to see like, yes, because I have them shut like um, beautiful lights, like birds maybe, you know, <laughs> flying. And, and it's immediate. Yeah. That's why like nature, and when we receive the most uh, natural food, we receive that uh, alchemy, no? Grains, for example, no? Or, or, or just some um, fruit and it's immediate and sun gazing for example more than the fact of whatever it's like you just see it and you have it all and you i can literally tell you that i'm a, i mean i'm a we are all solar beings but there is something there then i don't know i haven't touched base like if there are something beings or anything maybe i don't need to know it's just simply what i feel and what i feel is this recharge immediately and everything shifts, no? Is the light by the pureness. And so they'd say that they used to be just um, these temples all around the world, actually. It was just the sun, no? And then it became twisted, obviously, power and all that, right? What it represents. And it's the male energy, obviously. So I think there is a beautiful dance of female now becoming and claiming, reclaiming el poder de la mujer solar. No, the power of the solar women. And it's a beautiful path because it's a very reconciliation maybe of the energies. I can say that I may be, I, I don't even want to say if I'm wrong, what is to be wrong? But if somebody's of resonance, there you go. I don't know if I answer you. You did, you did elegantly, you know, I love it. I agree, you know, and I'm in resonance with that. You know, you said <laughs> el poder de mujer solar. De la mujer solar. Mm -hmm. Solar, el poder de la mujer solar. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So, you know, you said something and it's interesting because you said your your son is in Scorpio. Did you say that? Yes. And my 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 rising is in Leo and my moon in Aquarius. So it's no! <laughs> I know you're Aquarius as well, I think. Some aren't you? No way. You gotta be kidding me. You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is crazy. Never ever has this happened before. I've never guess. I'm just, just gonna let you guess. Okay, Karen? It's Aquarius. Just guess what my son is. Your son is Aquarius. You sure? I think so. I think it's Aquarius. One more guess. Oh, don't tell me you're Leo then. Are you Leo or Scorpio? My, my son your son or your son yeah my son my son well i will say that you were i, I was 100 percent you were aquarius or maybe i'm mistaken or maybe you are leo indeed okay with the flesh of a okay. scorpio i'm totally wrong now so it is you know why i'm not i'm confused because i think i i listened to you there was some moment that you say it and i say ah, but now i don't know which <laughs> You know, trust, trust but so, there is one that is in common. So you said it. So so Scorpio is my son. My son is in Scorpio. So my rising, what's my what's my rising? Leo two and your moon is Aquarius. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. 
up guessing like that. Oh my yes. God. Oh, That's me. why when we saw each other, we started to say, we are going to choose the amor. Woo! <laughs> Salute, salute, hermano. This is tea. Wow. It's blowing me away because I have never encountered someone with all three in the same, you know, the very same. And, you know, I just feel that, you know, I feel that like, you know, a lot of people, they see me and they think that I'm, you know, they, that I'm very reserved, but I've always had so much energy, always, you know, in abundance. And, you know, I kind of learned how to reserve my energy. I tried not to suppress it, but I've learned how to hold it back because, you know, when I was younger, they diagnosed me with things like they said I had ADHD. They said I had problems focusing. The same, exactly the same. Just recently, you know, actually, my partner made a list and we were having fun. <laughs> oh, this is you when you, the other day. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, why are there two uh, things in the mic? In, we don't have a microwave in the oven. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know. Oh shit, I forgot to eat. <laughs> That was from the day before the late night. She was like, no. <laughs> this kind of thing is awareness. We have ground more in any case, no? But these kind of things, yes. Yeah. He says that I go into the twilight zone whenever I'm doing something and then, but I was here and you're still washing the dishes. I cannot believe it. And I said, but I swear I kept doing it. I didn't shift. <laughs> you go somewhere else. You're not grounded at me in that case, maybe because of the practice, it could be. I don't think mm -hmm. you spend more time when you are washing the dishes than me or anything. Well, wash <laughs> is, you know, that's kind of like, a, it's very meditative, you know, for me mm -hmm. when I, I, I use that time to, you know, to just kind of get back into myself. But when you were talking about them diagnosing you with ADHD as well, was it a very young age that they told you that, they, that you had that or? No, 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 no. I, don't, I never take official diagnosis, <laughs> let's say. But I could read and yeah, from the whole space. And and I think a teacher actually, I was a teacher. Nakarit was one, one of my students. I don't know if she's still around. I just saw her. Oh, beautiful sound healer. Oh, we have to also talk, sister, if you're still around. So beautiful. And she does also be on our emotion. And um, what I wanted to say is that um, it's something that actually has to start in London recently. Because you know that also in the media are starting to come in, as, especially for adults. Mm because it was more like for children. And I've been teaching, I mean, little and, and grown-ups, and I was told, no, like these children, it is a stereotyping, lady and boo boo And never me, like, maybe because of art, you know, like through art, and then you're like, well, no, you're part of the gang. But then being away of that gang, <laughs> so being the, the, the spot, no, like, mm. Mm -hmm. and then getting into the realization, because you, okay, let's see, let's see, <laughs> historical. This is, we are so passionate in that sense that maybe I can go into the source that I want to do it. And until I don't finish, I don't release. And I, doesn't matter that exactly if I haven't eaten or, or, or I mean, if, if it is necessary to eat or drink, you know what I mean? Because when you are into a creative state, you are fulfilled by, by your own flow. Um, but yeah, we, we get into these moments in which time and space disappears. It's like the creative point. That's why they are very, um, the ones that have this label are greatest creators actually of, of great ideas actually in the world, but they need somebody maybe to anchor and to sustain, you know, to work along with that one because otherwise it's like, woof, but we need to learn, you no? Know? Well, that's what I've noticed to weave and understand Oh, but uh, but it's nothing that is not gonna put me to sleep, you know. Like I can't sleep. But um, but yeah, I think I was even. It's it's nice. Maybe we can do something about it because uh, it's there is a community that is evolving. But when I listen to those chats, that is nice that they are sharing. I think um, maybe it's still there is this allowance of the others saying or pointing them out, no? And they and they are trying to emerge, you know, from speaking their truth and saying, mm, we need this and that to help us live in a more, let's say, productive way. But as maybe we don't recognize ourselves to live in a productive way, you know? But if they are, I don't know, working in a company, for example, no, or they are creating something on their own. So there is a still to touch base on that. There are others that say that don't exist, that this not, not really exists. But there was a beautiful investigation from 
a really well respected um, scientist that yes he could really tell you know, this and how to really enhance the the growth of and a beauty of he says my mission is to have beauty beautiful brains he was saying very old man and i like it oh beautiful brains yes beautiful brains you no know? so yeah but what about you were you like yeah. did they label you or pretty much you know and that reminds me, you reminded me of a uh, a good movie a, a movie called a beautiful mind it's with russell crow and it was a beautiful mind and it's like you know that to be told like if i was told that i had a beautiful brain if i was not told that you know that my brain was kind of uh you know that there was a that there was a lack of focus or a lack of concentration or a lack of ability or a lack of sustain you know i was kind of always pointed towards you have a deficiency you don't have a, an abundance you have a lack you have a deficiency that's kind of what I, i i believed for for a long time and prescribed different medications you know different things like adderall and ritalin and stuff to to help me it it interfered with myself it interfered with my emotions it interfered with my feelings it interfered with my appetite it interfered with my ability to empathize to connect to to have what we're having right now to have this you know like a dance of dialogue like you know we call it conversation cuisine you know oh! you can, yeah, like, <laughs> i you like know, it <laughs> you feel full you feel full so when you were saying you know that sometimes you get into a creative flow and you feel like you're already full or that you don't need to eat you know has it always been that way where there were times for you in your life where there were periods of time where maybe other people were always eating but you you didn't feel the need yeah like my partner asked me no when was the last time you ate no well i guess i don't remember two three days ago and then he's like no it was like two days ago remember i prepared this ah oh, yeah true so maybe if i grab something but well we have heard of like well we not einstein <laughs> no but souls that are into emerge into that moment you know that everything really disappears because everything disappears we 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 can understand now other time and dimensions let's say we practice but it is very easy to get into that source and awareness and you don't have to be in social media just you know like you are <gasps> swollen by, by by the hole and then oh what happened but because you were entertained you know but not when you are in the creative state that is actually like an orgasm this is what i was saying you know like literally and um is having sex with create sex is creation right so that is it and you are there fulfill and it's funny what you're saying because actually this 10 years time that i left you know doing this things on stage let's say in a way you are super fulfill in order you know from other sources that you even ask is there a necessity if there is everything you know so for the ones that maybe are touching other bases is very very interesting because maybe you still would like to provide to your house not because of you know but simply because it's is is very honorable also and you are bringing service right so yeah this i'm saying it the first time at this what you know being diagnosed or 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 weaving that getting into understanding that yes because i'm a teacher for example i don't know what would have happened i was a teacher for 25 years i don't know what would have happened if they would say oh but i can tell that it's funny because when i get into this even if it's creation or probably when i am expressing my emotions and i'm not anchored so i lose the threads you know what i mean and maybe i can jump from one thing to the other it's like when you start to see the hole you know so you are for us it's very easy i get that on with souls like ourselves no i can i can follow you no like you can take me from one to the other and i follow you like like in the trees exactly we're jumping from one tree to the other and no problem for <laughs> it's perfect but for some others my <laughs> some friends that tell me sister you lose me <laughs> you know like you started to talk about this but then mm. but not when you we are in the center like what you are saying when i was taking you no so that is what you feel probably with the practices or simply when you are when we are anchored no so but we also have that capacity to read and i have had in my lifetime students or brothers and sisters that come to me and yes they are blue, 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 and, and and they start to take me somewhere there and i still follow them no i still follow them 
but um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I think I'm very earthy for so many other things, and I and I is the is the obsessive. It's like talk. We also have other things, no? Like it has to be perfect, no? But for some others, it's a relaxation, it's a release, no? So it's very challenging this cocktail. I think we will have to do another call because it's it's very nice to also understand it's it's a cocktail that brings you lots of of great variety mm -hmm. but i think if we really don't anchor them we can just miss the harmony and the beauty of the advantage that we can take from each right um and some things can become messy and not because we want to to leave everything with impeccability but yes with a clear message that that is the point to be sent no if it's a painting if it's communication or whatever no into the space and i appreciate and and thank you for that because your practices is what is what brings somebody instantly you know and and i thank you for that because otherwise i can lose myself and not because i have to be still you no know? who says that you no know? like we have to be still or we have to be you know me i'm not gonna be like that Ooh, you know but i was peacefully you know in my afternoon <laughs> at this time and uh, but yes and um and fire sun is fire so um i see like young generation gets tired very easily haven't you noticed like they are they i, I don't know they're young they're young but they're sleepy they're they're tired and you wonder but if i haven't slept that much and i'm more <laughs> i'm even more i'm even higher no and uh, that was a hangover of love no and i think um this this alter state of consciousness the whole time of of and, and of course it doesn't mean that you're gonna be going out like whoa yes there is a moment for that but uh, you're fulfilled exactly you say you have your cup full of love mm -hmm. no but you need to empty sometimes obviously right right I agree you know Bo borracho del amor Bo borracho del amor borracho yes. del amor salud <laughs> Good. So, you know, when when you're talking about this and you're saying that you see a lot of the young generation are very sleepy, very tired, very exhausted, very lethargic, very just, you know, they don't have that vigor, that vitality or that vibrance for life and living that you, that you do. Why do you feel like that is? Why do you feel like there seems to be just a sleepiness that that hovers over most people? Well, I I, I I do think about it at times because we are receiving young generation for a great purpose they say you no know? like so i don't know if they're actually in their sleepy mode of rest you know because then they're gonna come with all the power or simply because indeed of i don't know how old you are i'm reaching in three years 50 or is it in two i told you already this because i am still confused <laughs> i think i'll touch 47 years young if you want to say but we are really ageless you no know? But what I want to bring into the spaces like for the ones that were out in the streets or, you know, not with too much um, entertainment, you know, there was TV, of course, other things, but we learned differently. Um, there is more being exhausted just by what we are exposed to, definitely, you no. Know? And as everything is given so easily, even, even my generation, nothing in comparison to our ancestors. I mean, it was survival mode. And think about it if they have to work the land and everything and it doesn't have to be that you're in the middle of nowhere it's simply because <laughs> you have to you know so um yeah i think every gen it's supposed to be that we are more vigorous but maybe um asking give me the pill so then this will give me the vigor no the give me this it's always like give me give me give me uh, not not young generation but you know there is a moment in which it's like even with practices or something tell me we are still in that moment and we are releasing because there's no more gurus or maestros we respect people that have walked ahead obviously but we know that everything is inside it's just to recall right to remember but it is still like the power is outside no the power is outside and even taita inti no <laughs> but it's like i received that charger but i know that as my friend told me you are the sun no so yes and um probably also cocktails now <laughs> i don't know if it's just drugs or alcohol or simply the whole noise no that also puts you in this sleepy mode because everything is being woven by everybody 
yeah. you know, for better or for less better. So everybody is in this dance of the threads, right? And you can be in this spider web just caught, or you can be actually releasing yourself, you know? And um, yeah, I, um, on the other hand though, there are just a great bunch of souls that just, I don't know, are 20 years old. I was just with a sister, BB blessings. I mean, like I even had to tell her, I forget that you are 20. It seems like literally, you know, and I started the, the, the shiny stars, no star, star seats. We are all star seats. No, I don't want to also get into that labeling, but um, yeah, this awareness, you know, by like a sleeping giant generation can be sleepy adults as well, no, like grown ups. But I don't know there where you are, but I, I, I have this feeling, no, like, I don't know, you jump on the train and it's like, no, <laughs> and it's like, and you think, whoa, <laughs> no, and yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you remind me, there was one time, uh, you know, Karen, I was traveling, and this one time when I was going from Italy towards uh, Switzerland. I was going on a train ride and it was a long train ride and I saw a group of, of friends, they were together and, you know, it was a gentleman. He was kind of a big, big guy, big muscly guy. There was another one that was a, a kind of more slender, more, more a little bit skinny. And then there were a couple of girls that were in front of me and, you know, everyone had their mask on and stuff. And I remember that during the train ride, they, they had a big old pizza that they had gotten from somewhere and they passed the pizza around and the girls were eating the pizza and then the big muscle guy was eating the pizza and the only one that didn't eat the pizza was the, the, the skinny guy, you know, the, the smaller guy. And so he just kind of enjoyed his friends that were enjoying the food and they were just kind of enjoying and laughing and, you know, having fun. And maybe like 15, 20 minutes later, they were all just like, all of them were just gone the muscle guy was gone. The two girls in front of me, they were just sleeping. But the only guy that was wide awake was the guy who didn't eat the pizza. He was looking at everything. He got to see everything. He looked out the window. He got to witness the whole landscape, the whole scenery, the whole life, like trees, buildings, birds, like everything. He got to see everything because he was still awake. But they were, they were all asleep. So I just observed that. I just paid attention and watched that. And it really reflected, you know, it really connected. And it's true. Moment. It's true. Um, I, um, well, I, I would like to go back, and I am, I am already, <laughs> minute one <laughs> after the call, uh, macrobiotica. You may have heard of macrobio macro macro macrobiotica, <laughs> macrobiotics, I think it's in English, you know. And um, we knew or we know past, uh, you know, all the white grains, you know, they put you to sleep. It's on purpose, actually. It's because everything is on purpose. It's just to sleep. So, and um, I do something with my partner, no? When he, he loves his pasta and all that. He prepares it. He's French, not Italian, though. But anyway, he likes it. And then I say, I'm sure you're going to be sleepy now. Three, two, one. <laughs> no? And then he's like, hmm. He's like, I would prepare pastita for you, so then you come sleepy, my love. Ooh. But yes, it's true. It's totally true. And um, yeah, and there is this is maybe for another call that they say, like, even in the when we are sleepy, it's not only sleepy because we're sleepy, not to understand what is going on, but it's because there is a purpose apparently when we are sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to believe it. Well, I, it's not I want to believe it because it's something of resonance. I do. I can believe absolutely everything. And the only thing is we protect our energies and, you know, just go open heart and also say you anchor. But yes, yesterday, because I was very excited. I'm still in that cocktail of love, really hungover. Like, really, I'm like, wow, I cannot believe it. Like, we support each other projects. And, and not only in that community, you, for example, no other synchronicities, whomever I just meet. I meet in these days in the in the I mean the roller coaster because once you open it's non-stop right and you get addicted actually and addicted and and, and funny to play no like oh see now this and this other so in that moment when I was sleeping I was falling asleep and I could tell literally that I resisted you know just to practice you know and I could tell I felt somebody touching my knee like don't fall asleep you know when they wake you up and I say, thank you, whoever, no? And then here, poof, 
<laughs> after it was like oh that was hard eh? come on be a bit more gentle <laughs> you know and then in the back so i remember these three boom 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 and then i just left the bed you know it's like okay the purpose is like you want me not to fall asleep then i won't fall asleep you know and here i am <laughs> because i needed to take my my, my my beautiful dogs to the veterinarian for the yearly test because they are treated with ayurveda and holistic you know uh, philosophy and uh, and yeah and you still get that energy a good walk by the sea with the sand and there you go without breakfast <laughs> without breakfast no and it's amazing and also there is this thought if actually we we should really eat actually you know i eat uh, particularly when i'm hungry no so when i'm hungry and um, it's also cultural because coming from peru everything is food we are very proud of the dishes no and um, i became vegetarian vegan well it was more vegan 15 years ago or maybe ish and more vegetarian because, you know, after the pandemic or something, uh, we had a um, few shops open and it's a small town by the beach and only because of that reason. And, um, and yeah, so I think this, I don't know, uh, we have a community. I would like you to maybe to go there. We have these calls um, every Wednesday. And one of them was saying, aren't we more beautiful? <laughs> like, you know, like, we are more beautiful no once you understand many things you become more beautiful because you release so much so much bs let's say you know about the drama and parents and this and that you know as an actress for example and with this i wrap it up my, my sharing um a sister was saying oh but wouldn't you like to go to acting and then actually when i read that but why would i be feeling the source with the more drama you know if I don't feel I have drama among my beloved ones, why will I know? Why? Because, and I'm Latina. So who hasn't watched the telenovela with the abuelita, abuelita, you know, like, oh, y María Exuladora le dijo que no, tan tan. And they tell you, I've been there. Stay, always so funny. Stay, and you're there. And you cannot move. Cut. <laughs> you know, but then your eyebrow has to be higher. I Envy you, isn't it clear? <laughs> you know, I just love this. Like it's too late. You receive my love. <laughs> oh gosh. Take. We yeah. were doing this earlier. We received curtains of love. Yes, yes, indeed. And you know, I love this because you know, early when you were talking about something tapping you, you know, something tapping you, tapping you, and just waking you up. What did you feel when when you felt that sensation? What do you feel was the was the vibration that was tapping you or waking you up in that moment? Well, definitely, I, I wouldn't say uh, it was a, still something gentle in the sense because I thought hmm, because per perhaps I shouldn't have been where I was, you know, while I was going into these little deaths that going to sleep is is every day is a little death right for a rebirth next day next day let's say so um i think it was helping i th i had the feeling in any case it's only me no because they say that even archangels or you know like when we still put everything outside it's like we have been mini mini fractalizing many many ways like that's why we may be leaving ourselves in other 11 dimensions let's say you know ourselves in other timelines and, and spaces so yeah maybe it was my great spirit you know or maybe like, hey, sister, weren't you doing this? Or finish it, because you were doing it. So it is three in the morning, finish it. <laughs> Don't get into your craziness. Is it, oh, Tai Tai Inti now is, is going to be that, behind the, 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 the building, <laughs> not the Montaña Apu, <laughs> in this case, the Cordillera de los Andes, but the building of my neighbors. <laughs> is, is, it's going to go. Uh, is that a creation? of time for you three in the morning is that a very oh creative? yes 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 and um, all the time um i will i would rather fall asleep between 10 30 11 or 11 you know so i sleep two 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 and yes three o'clock boom no three yes this is it happens to many souls actually no like three four that's why the practices that sometimes take place at five are amazing right so yes definitely and i am more energetic at that time that's what my partner works at night and he always teases me you are as up as i am 
but you're not getting paid, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because you are in the house looking after our pubs. So wouldn't you like to work at night instead? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, and it's not normal, no, because like the people actually, they say that uh, do all their lives at night, maybe age uh, sooner or they, they die sooner. But in any case, we know that it's written when you will leave, you know, you know. So, uh, yes, definitely. I become an ener energetic. And also these times eclipse is coming. My moon, that I'm, I have my moon that came just with the new moon. <laughs> so more, no, more. So. Yes, definitely. You too? What about you? What about you, yeah, brother? There's, there's, what about you, brother? My, my, my twin flame of Leo, Cocktail, Scorpio, Aquarius. What about that? <laughs> this is the first time for me too. Yeah. Because I'm very proud to say, or say, not like, please forgive me, I'm the crazy one that has these three cocktails. Now, <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah, you know, as you were speaking just now, Karen, you know, Nabiha, she said, same here, between three and five is amazing energy to create. So she He's echoing your words. And also, you know, Andrea Catalina, she said that happens a lot where there's always a force making me to be awake. Mm -hmm. so, so these things that you're saying, people are echoing, they're resonating with your words. And it's interesting because you also said that, you know, I became vegan, you know, for, for different reasons. It wasn't for health reasons. It wasn't for, you know, even longevity or, or more energy reasons. It was something that I saw about the animals you that know that was a call for me too okay. mm -mm. so so when you said 15 years ago that you became vegan 15 years ago it was just was... like that it was ex no transition eh? it was one day to the other it was like no go okay what well, so what was the reason that that quick transition for you i just couldn't it was simply and it was this didn't matter um i mean sorry this didn't mean that i was being exposed and investigate or see nothing nothing no it was simply it is like you know you wake up and suddenly you you feel the call that's a no-go that cannot go in your system for our beloved ones you know around no respect it was just a no-go it's like you tell me this and it's like i will be eating you <laughs> you know what i mean so I don't see any difference. And it doesn't matter if I'm hungry, if I'm ever hungry, because it could also be something on the mind. Um, but if I happen to, I don't know, be living a transition of maybe a bit of my body weak or whatever, like not even then I will eat, you know, meat, for example. No, no, no nothing at all. It's, it's, it's impossible. It's a no-go. It's like what is what's funny is that doctors no they say oh no you have to take b12 by then um yes uh, i was asked to go to a doctor and check and i said okay let's see what he or she says because i don't go to the doctor either <clears throat> but um by then they gave me this uh, iron a lot of iron and woof, i just started to reject it and they say well if you don't want to take it you will have to eat meat and i happen to be married then to argentinian so <laughs> they are meat lovers most of them and I respect that because it's not a matter of imposing everybody's in their own journey, you know? So we, I have been living always with people that eat meat and in that sense, well, you know, but most of the time they will start eating a lot less, <laughs> you know, or, or nothing for, for great periods of, of times. But in any case, I remember um, that he said, well, try a little. I didn't even could swallow it because when I, when I took that piece, it tasted like a soul of a shoe, you know? That's the taste. That's what I remember. A sol, a suela del, del zapato, no? Sol of a shoe. It was no food. It was like wood or something, no? It was like, what? what? So, um, yeah. So that's no, that's no way. Now, I have to say that my pups, they do eat meat because they have a stomachal um, issues. And we ask if they could be vegetarian, vegan. And they see that they can't. So now it's, they are old now. And when they transcend, we have this issue, no, like maybe no more pups in my life and I will just, you know, support or rescue others different way uh, or simply, um, I don't know, because we, we, we do something nice, you know, like I think Jewish also do like a blessing and then you at least release of the emotions of the moment. And they're very tricky because when I'm doing that, when, when I reach here, 
<laughs> they say, okay, now is the time, no? But they, list, they look at me at least, and I always say, I appreciate uh, this, no? And uh, the only thing that I can, and it's not being more in peace, it's like this, this pure soul was already killed, you know, let's say, even though they say they also choose like ourselves, no? It's, it's part of the journey as well. <laughs> but in any case, sometimes I don't see it like this, or it's, it's, it's even like that. So I say this, instead of throwing it, you know, that it's gonna end up in the, just the being, at least it's, feel, it's, it's in the body of another animalito. You know what I mean? And if they are rescue ones, for example, in that sense to, th that is gonna be, you know, just thrown away. But um, it's, it's tough, at times it's tough. They eat a lot of, of vegetables, a lot of grains, for example, but the meat is very little. It's not the most percent of, of their meal, but still. So that's, um, that's, that's, that's hard for one that uh, doesn't, no? So if you see meat, it's, it's not for us at all. It's like, and actually, I don't see it as something that I can eat, for example, no? And um, yeah, I don't know if you have, well, that would be a nice talk maybe with Andrea because um, Andrea, I don't know what, what she, uh, for example, provides her, her family. Um, but I think also animals have shifted and they can also, they are also in the state of releasing. And I'm sure, okay, they are not giraffes, they are not cows, but uh, they are getting into this. They also will need just to <clears throat> fulfill their bodies differently, no? I don't know lions, I don't know tigers, no? But they don't eat it for pleasure. They don't eat for pleasure. That's the difference. They eat because they're hungry, but they they will never eat for pleasure as humans we do you know so and if you think about it actually meat is not even nice you know what i mean is what you put on top what you do and the sauces and all that that makes it nice no and yes it's something to fulfill you but it's also the, their lives no so i don't know how long you haven't eaten um f uh, meat for example and uh, my my parents for example my father has been diagnosed with certain issues now and I say I tell you I've been telling you hundred times to just release me actually if we just don't eat meat besides the support of the Holocaust that it is around and anything the energies that we receive no, from the sadness it is the same sorrow that they say like a, a cow when they when she's released from her baby and all that and we're taking those emotions no so that's why unless you do some work the difference is that we have different capacities than animals that are eating them. They are not thinking, you know, so that is different. How it is in the in gestarlo is different. It's a very, well, I think Andrea is saying, no, I have accepted my nature and I have accepted their nature. Yes, this is exactly what, uh, where we are in, in that sense, no? Our uh, holistic nutritionists are the most loving souls, great warriors that decided to leave even veterinarians philosophy in which they would just do a lot of research with animals and not really heal them, but actually put more things so that they could be eternally sick, you know, so they are doing something else. So I, to some of the diagnosis of IBDs or some really crucial stuff that my dogs have, veterinarians will say, oh, they have to take just antibiotics or whatever. No, no, no. So they also told me that. And that is the only thing is like, that's the nature, you know, it's like a tiger, it's like a this, and they say, that's the nature. So exactly what, what Katerina Andrea has said. Mm. Thank you, sister, because it, it sometimes gives you controversy, you know, like, but uh, just, just give it with love, yes. Yeah, that's confirmation, you know, and that's, that's great information for people to hear and for people to receive from you as well as, as you're transmitting, you know, this information, Karen, because it's interesting you when you said when your pups you know the pups that you rescued you you didn't say when whenever they pass away or that whenever they die or even whenever they transition you said whenever they transcend yes that was the, the word that you used so when it comes to the concept of the hereafter of death you know why do you use that word transcend instead of any other word because well the word die or morir in espanol it has also become some non welcoming understanding and as i probably you too vision that there's no death by itself there's nothing that can kill us absolutely nothing is like life after life we're just simply in this transcendence to the other door to the other space you know for whatever is being 
we can come back, we can go somewhere else or, and um, yeah, for me, it's a transcendence and a transcendence of everything also in our challenges or beauty blessings of our lives. We need to transcend them, no? Actually, earlier I was in a, a fire ceremony and sometimes it's not that I deny to the word fear, but as fear is created, this is, no, we're just in this um, transcendence and at the same time, um, the capacity of fire to help us go into these different transitions, no? And uh, not just into, like we go in other spaces that our little fuego is gonna release our fears, you know? <laughs> we were just saying it, no? So transmute, that's the word I wanted to say. Transmute, so I like this, no? And transcendence, yes, I see it as a transcendence, hmm. yes. Perhaps it's the last life as animals, I don't know. There are king and queens, and many, many around, obviously, no? And, and I have the feeling we may have disagreements when we all have agreements, no? Thank you for the recognition. Thank you, yes, Andrea, for she's happy too that we have connected. I have no idea how long this is. Can we continue, or is it that it cuts at the hour? You are the expertise. For me, it's been a while. We can definitely, you know, we can definitely do another one you know with uh there's so many places yes! that we can go see, like you know scratching the surface so you know we could do it next week again you know Yay! i'd love to oh well, we'll do it sometime this week eh? oh my god i i mean thank you very much for the ones i have been listening yes. and that is when we really lose track of the time yes. i was just checking and then i say is it six already i can continue oh. and this is it is also nice when you don't really need to finish only for the logistics of Instagram, you know, but nothing else because we can be on those sorts of sharing. No, if we were around in a circle with our little fuego, or just walking along on the valley, we could continue this, no, and and receiving in this recognition, no. But uh, nothing that I have said has to be in resonance of anybody or, or my brothers here, but I'm, I'm sure like we are more understanding like this because isn't it nicer if we take life like this? Oh my God, Hermanito, I love you so much. much love. Yes, thank you, Andrea, so much. I mean, like, come on, <laughs> <laughs> simply coincidence. Oh my God, we're definitely, I'm so glad that our universe have brought us together, that we are recognizing our souls. And this is beauty. Hey, familia del mundo mundial, why so many restrictions? It's so nice to see each other and to, to, to be free to speak and love, you know? Nobody's gonna judge you. Nobody is gonna say anything about you. The person is gonna receive you. Sometimes you are more in your thoughts, thinking that you're gonna be judged, but the person is just a person. It's just ready to receive your message. So I really thank you for that. And I honor Pachamamita here for you. La Pachamamita curve here in the Montañitas de Peru. <laughs> We look alike. <laughs> so blessings, hermanito. So thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody. And I would like to sing for you. Hopefully Instagram will allow me and won't cut it. Abrete corazón. Abrete sentimiento. Deja un lado la razón. Y deja entrar al sol. Escondido en tu interior. Uh, 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 Fire South, yes. Awita here in the West and in the North, La Tierrita. Thank you, thank you, thank you.